Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be doing a magazine collage for my 100 day project in my junk journal. So we're starting off with a page that's already been painted. I wasn't sure what to do with this page so I figured why not do a magazine collage because they're quick and easy usually. You can take as much time or as little time as you want with them. Um, but there are some hints that I've got here to, to make them quicker. Um, I like to do borders on my magazine collages. It's something um, Tisha Moore, who's the queen of doing magazine collage in my eyes, um, uses an awful lot of borders in her work. I just like how it frames it up and I like the fact that you can have things hanging out over the top of the frames as well. And I have found that instead of cutting tiny little, bit of pa bits, little bits of paper, I can use my washi collection because I don't use my washi tape very often. I do have a larger collection than I used to have. Um, and it's so much fun just to, to chuck in bits and pieces. So I've got ones with eyes in them. I've got um, black and white. I like to use a combination of sort of blacks and whites and colors. Um, I also like chucking in a little bit of metallic here and there. Uh, you can see me tearing just little bits of tape off to and overlapping them. So you sort of get this collaged effect all over very easily. You don't need to worry about, you know, sticking anything down because, you know, it's already got sticky on it, which is really, really handy. Um, in some cases, you may find that you do need to stick um, some of your edges down a little bit, but that's okay. The other thing about magazine collage is um, paint pens or outlining is quite important just to make it really stand out and be nice and bold. So by putting that white pen around the outside, it gives a real definitive edge to my, um, the area I'm going to be working in. Sorry, I had mental blank for a moment. <laughs> so um, on this page, I was just playing around. I um, got the newest, um, shimmer paints from Dilusions, so I just wanted to have a go with them. Um, I have a love-hate affair with the Dilusions paint, usually. Um, I used to love them in the big tubs, they used to be one of my favourite paints to go to. When they changed over to the little things, I found I didn't like the um, formula as much, but I have to say I was incredibly, incredibly impressed and um, absolutely adore these new shimmer paints because they're really opaque, they are really, really shimmery, and they're just beautiful. So um, for those of you who may have the same experience as me with the, the, the Dilutions paints, hold on to your hats with the shimmer ones because they are just something else. So this is one of the new images from the Dilutions 3 um, magazine collage sheets that came out. There's another page using the shimmers. I was having fun with them. And um, I really liked it, but I didn't like any of the bodies to go with it. So I found this out of the body that I've got here out of a magazine. And I've just added it on. That's a great thing about, you know, having those collage sheets because you can use them you can all be collage sheets or it can be a mix of cutting something out of a magazine or it can be all out of a magazine. You can just mix and match and they go together beautifully. These words are also out of um, a magazine. So quite often we kind of overlook the words um, and sometimes you can get some really cool um, little focal pieces. So for a lot of my magazine collages, I like to have a larger quote on the page and then some... Um, more personal journaling underneath. So I really like the fact that I could actually just use something straight out of a magazine. So I've got these Hey Bright Eyes, which obviously fits in really nicely with my image I've got over there because she's got huge eyes. So once I've glued that in, then I'm going to do some extra detailing. And this is something I like to do with all my magazine collages. And if you have a look at the images that Di has got in her collage packs anyway. You'll notice that she's got a lot of her own detailing on them because um, she's taken her images out of a magazine and changed them. And um, just like I'm doing here with this bottom image, you know, I've got this Louis Vuitton bag, which is now becoming turquoise and pink with stripes on it instead of just being a black bag. So you can just go nuts and add in whatever you like. I always like to sort of outline um, clothing, um, 
you can put it on different patterns. I tend to actually do a lot of stripes or dots on patterns. It, there's nothing very complicated about it. It's just adding in extra colors. One thing I have found though is I tend to use these three colors a lot. I tend to use my um, turquoise, my pink, uh, white and black when I'm doing magazine collages. Uh, I don't know why. I think just because they're my favorite colors and they're always close by. Um, I do have the whole range of Posca paint pens there, but these are the ones I tend to pick up. But they're also good go-to colors that kind of go with everything. So go with what works. Go with what you like. So once I've finished sort of adding in the color that I want, I'm now going in with my black pen and outlining everything. Um, all the buckles, all the bags, all the lines of the clothing, around her hands, around her head, around her hair, um, just adding in um, all this black work. Now there's two reasons for this. One is it just gives you a really great outline. Two, particularly the, the Direvely printables, um, oh sorry, collage sheets, not, they're not printables. Uh, when you print, you're never going to get a true black. So um, when you add your black pen, so for example, you can see here, I've got the black obviously on there already, but I'm going over with black pen. You can see it's darker. So you just get this really true sense of black and it just really helps sharpen everything up. So with white clothing, I love getting images that have got white clothing on it because you can add your own patterns to it. And as I said, I really love everything being stripy um, and you can have so much fun with it you can put dots and dashes and all sorts in so it just sort of helps everything really become yours I suppose instead of just you know um, relying on what's just come out of the magazine you can create your own quirky images um, but you've got a guide to help you you're not having to come up with it on your own you've got this guide to help you you can also recolor things. So for example, if I really hated her orange hair, I could paint that to be any color I wanted. You know, it could be red, it could be purple, it could be pink and blue polka dots if I wanted it to, to have that. Um, so you can be as creative as you like with it. Please excuse my head going in there, but I kind of need to see what I'm doing. <laughs> um, I've also put some polka dots on her eyes. I'm just going in again and darkening up the pupils and you can see what a huge difference that makes to the piece just by putting that extra black in as well. So once I've finished that, I'm just outlining some of the lines with some white, just giving a little bit of extra um, contrast onto the black lines um, to so, sort of echo her neckline as well um, so everything goes up and then putting some detail on her lips the final color that I do actually t go to if I if I stop using the pink and turquoise I pull out my neon yellow so she's got this really bright vibrant yellow hair yet yeah, which kind of works with the title I've got there hey yeah, hey bright eyes I do recommend when you're working with um, your paint pens, however, though, give it a bit of a dry before you put your hands over it because lots of magazine images are a little bit slick. It takes your paint pens a little bit longer to dry um, and you can accidentally smudge things, which I do quite regularly because I put my hands everywhere. So um, just be aware it doesn't take very long to dry, um, but it is better than smudging it. So the final thing I'm doing is just adding in some of my own words and I've got don't you dare look back um, which I thought worked out well particularly with the way she's sort of looking over her shoulder. So with my lettering I um, go in with my finest paint pen first and sort of space out where I'm going to go. The reason I do that is because I tend to work on acrylic um, surfaces that are completely painted. Um, so if I make a mistake with my paint pen, which I quite often do, I can just wipe it off with a paint with a wet wipe, um, and it's not going to stay on the page. It'll just wipe off. You can obviously use a pencil to go over the top of it. I just find I'm very heavy-handed with it. I can never get rid of all the pencil, and that bugs me. So if I do it with paint pen, I sort of get it all in one go. Once I've finished doing my lettering, I then go around with my black pen again. Sort of that outlining really helps to highlight everything or contrast everything just pops it out from the page a little bit gives you that 3d look and it makes it a little bit of a focus so you get that automatic sort of shadow around your letters and that's it 
it didn't take very long to do this page you can obviously take as much or as little time to do your magazine collage um, you can put in as much detail or you can just leave it with the head and the body stuck down and that's all you want to do with it that's okay too there's no right or wrong to doing this but it's just such a fun thing to do it's a great thing to do with kids as well and kids are fantastic when you let them go to do it because they have no rules so they turn out the most amazing collages so have fun playing with your magazine collage until next time bye for now